Hi, this is Amos with Moog Music, and we're very happy to introduce Operating System version 3.1 for the entire Little Fatty Synthesizer series. To begin with, we have several changes and additions to the preset parameters. You'll find all of these on the Advanced Preset menu. The first of the new additions is Legato Glide. Glide allows for a smooth change in pitch as you change what note you're playing. With new Legato Glide, you can have Glide applied only to overlapping notes, whereas notes that you play disconnected from one another will snap instantly to pitch. The next new parameter on the Advanced Preset menu is Volume Velocity Sensitivity. With Volume Velocity Sensitivity, we've added 15 levels of sensitivity, mapping keyboard velocity to volume. Also in the Advanced Preset menu, you'll find a new LFO keyboard trigger parameter. When you press a key, the LFO may be at any point within its cycle, which means that each note may take on its own characteristic. Sort of like this. If I engage LFO keyboard trigger, it will reset the LFO to zero at the start of each note, which will synchronize the modulation with my playing. Also in the Advanced Preset menu, you'll find the Tuning Scale option. This is new to the Little Fatty series, but was introduced originally in the Slim Fatty. New items you'll find on the Master menu include the Global Arpeggiator Setup menu. On the ARP Setup menu, you can change the clock source for the arpeggiator from internal to MIDI for all presets. You can also adjust the arpeggiator clock divisions and a new parameter called Gate Length, which controls how long each note is within the arpeggiator cycle. There are three options. Also on the arpeggiator setup menu, you can choose to send MIDI from the arpeggiator. You can either send the literal MIDI of the keyboard while the arpeggiator is playing, you can send out arpeggiated MIDI notes generated by the arpeggiator, or you can choose to send no MIDI. Another new feature in OS 3.1 is that the arpeggiator can now send MIDI clock start and stop messages from its internal clock. This allows you to sync outboard gear to the Little Fatty's arpeggiator. There have also been a number of enhancements to the Little Fatty's MIDI specification. New in OS 3.1 is MIDI CC output filtering. On the MIDI setup send CCs menu, you can choose to send all MIDI controllers from the Little Fatty, which is the default. You can choose to send everything other than the master volume knob, which is useful if you're controlling the Little Fatty's volume and you don't want to turn up or down the volume of a soft synth or another synthesizer in your MIDI chain. Also, you can now choose to send only MIDI keys and pitch and mod wheel, and send no MIDI from the knobs as you're changing the little fatty sound. This can be very useful in a mixed studio setup where a lot of other gear is also being controlled by from the same controller. The little fatty now also boasts 14-bit high-resolution MIDI both in and out, and this allows for you to record and play back extremely smooth parameter changes. Another new feature you'll find on the MIDI setup is the gate in option. This allows you to use the Little Fatty's Gate CV input jack as a sustain pedal in addition to or instead of its normal function of simply turning on the keyboard gate. When gate on is set to sustain or gate sustain mode, pressing the sustain pedal will send a MIDI sustain message and it will also delay sending any note offs from the Little Fatty keyboard until the sustain pedal is released. This is very useful if you're playing polyphonically. You can hold a chord and solo over top of it. <laughs> The Fatty's MIDI clock sync abilities have also been improved. We now offer 22 MIDI clock sync divisions for both the LFO and the arpeggiator, ranging from 30 second triplets up to four whole bars. The arpeggiator has also been retooled to work very well in a chain of polyphonic little fatties. There are multiple ways you can use it. You can have all of the units arpeggiating simultaneously with their own arpeggiators. These can be either synchronized or they can be offset at their own clock divisions, which gives you polyrhythmic polyphonic arpeggiation. Or you can use the little fatty keyboard as a master, sending out an arpeggiated pattern of many notes, and have the slims simply acting as voice modules. This gives you perfect synchronization and a polyphonic sound that you can spread across the stereo field and uh, have overlapping notes as well.
Operating System version 3.1 will be shipping on all new little and slim fatties, and all of our existing customers can download it for free from our website, moogmusic.com. Go check it out. I'm sure you'll enjoy.